All right, everybody, we are back at Bratfest. Uh, this is our good friend, Neil Middleton, from the rock and roll band Royal Bliss. Uh, as always, I have Angela DeSalvo. Over here, we have Ryan Fielding of Paragon Customs and Mr. Sean Shell, the Thanks hill everybody. person. All ah. right, uh, Neil, um, you're here. Yes. Why are you here? Who are you? What do you do? <laughs> What's going on? What did you do on? with your bass player? Because he stole his glasses. I'm a connoisseur. <laughs> They're my glasses. Oh, he I stole them from you. I'll let him wear them. I, these are, these I are requested the, uh, them. Yes. They were a specific request. <laughs> they are fabulous. They're, they're my, my glasses from the Hard and Loud video. And... Uh, I got them in Texas. They're amazing. I love it. I liked your I know. shirt in that video. <laughs> that was a shirt. Oh my gosh! What I a almost, great shirt. I, I almost brought that to wear today, but uh, <laughs> but it's such uh, like so it's so sought after by so many people. <laughs> I didn't want it to get ripped off my chest. Like, It'll I love eventually be it? in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, all hung up and stuff. Right? Yeah, it says uh, it says something like about Michael Alexander or something like that on it. <laughs> And wasn't that know. shirt the shirt he was Schmeichel wearing? Michael Salamander. Like he legit yes. took it off his back. Yes. Here, yeah. yes. So we kind of have a thing like where <laughs> yes. I, I've given Michael my shirts in the past <laughs> and he gives me his shirts. I'm not going to yeah. tell you what happens after that. <laughs> but <laughs> I feel like this has come up all three. Three out of three today. Yes. Yes, favors we have exchanged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. Favors, favors for clothes. <laughs> yeah, things have happened. That's why my friends play this event. It's uh, it's all about things and stuff. And he favors. really takes care of you, like, in more ways than one. You guys know I'm talking about. That's oh, yeah. funny. <laughs> Longest He's night a of giver. my life. Well, Longest what do you got coming up next, life. Neil, here? Talk about you a little bit. Let's talk about Neil Middleton. Um, well, coming up, uh, I'm going to probably have a couple bratwurst. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Drink a couple more beers. That's the uh, pinnacle of Neil Middleton's career, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here at Broadfest, eating sausage. I mean, you asked why I come here, and it's because I am a uh, aficionado of bratwurst. He uh, likes the meat. Yeah, I like meat. I like. <laughs> he got me. I like, oh sir, I like just putting bratwurst in my mouth is tasty. So tell me, are you are you guys on tour right now, or did you come here for? Uh, it's kind of funny because originally we were supposed to be on a tour. Okay. Like we had booked Bratfest. We were going to be uh, the direct support for Smash Mouth last night. Awesome. And I had M Michael came out to my house and we had him out in Salt Lake City to play some shows with us. Yep. And I had to break the news to him because we booked a tour with uh, Through Fire and Devour the Day. Which is why he actually invited me to his house. It wasn't yeah. for the tour. It was so he could be like, hey, Michael, I can't play your party. I know I've flown you out a long ways <laughs> to have to this conversation. You. I only like to cancel person to person. I think I'm old school that way. And uh, so that's how I wanted to cancel. Really? Sorry your dragon show ended stupidly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, oh my god! Yeah, so go. it's, it's kind of what happened, and and uh, then that whole tour that we booked and had to cancel Bratfest for it would be the first time in what five years that we weren't able to play, oh, wow. and I was I super pissed six. about it. And well, then you uh, called me up at last minute, and you're like, "Hey, uh, could I uh, play Bratfest?" And uh, there's only a handful of people that I would actually add. A uh, hour to the schedule, uh, and Royal Bliss is we one to open of those. One. Yeah, we weren't supposed to open until one. I'm like, uh, Tim, Kevin, can we <laughs> just open have, early? And he's like, Yeah, let's and, do it. And, and not for nothing, but look at the crowd that we had that here crowd at New. We had at New awesome. o'clock for so your I concert said, was it blew insane. me away. Yeah. Like yeah. a huge it was crowd amazing. or a huge band like you, and for the morning ones, and then all the people that will come. And I mean, I don't just book these guys because they're my friends they do an incredible job if they're you've never amazing. seen royal bliss go see royal bliss yes. at 12 o'clock it is honestly in the 12 years that i've been here that's a lot of 12s that's 24 <laughs> uh in uh the 12 years that i've been here uh doing music it's the largest 12 o'clock crowd i've ever seen, seen. yeah it was, it was awesome it was enormous it was i gotta be honest like uh if we when we play next year, and I, I will never cancel on you. Well, I shouldn't say that. That'll be, that'll be <laughs> I on camera. <laughs> I would like to play at noon again because I'm done at one, and then I can just eat all the bratwurst I want. <laughs> all the brats. Yeah, because Hashtag all the brats. All the brats. <laughs> That's what I ate for breakfast. Was two bratwurst. And one was a chicken chipotle brat, and it was amazing. Oh, it was really good. Blew my mind. They even got chipotle mustard in there. Yeah. 
oh, so good. <laughs> Which I usually don't do before I go on stage, but that was my breakfast. Oh my goodness. But when I get here and we're on at seven o'clock, I have like 15 brats before I go on stage. <laughs> and that is <laughs> and really bad. And at least bad. 11 and a half beers. And pacing yourself. At least. Because I got here this morning and I'm like, Where are the ke- where's the keg? Oh, yeah. And you're like, the keg's not showing up till three. I'm like, I, I don't tap it until three. <laughs> I don't tap it until three because I know my friends and I know if they drink. Oh, that, that brat's been there a while. That looks like a brat that's in like a window of a store. Like, it almost looks like a dog you toy. Drive, driving like you, a legit, with like, you can kill a man with that brat. It's fake. Like, it's fake. That's not a real brat? <laughs> No, it was. was Smells like a brat. It, it was at one time. Like I can tell. In its other life. Like I said, I'm an we aficionado. Promise that, we promise that if you're being served brats, they won't be. They that don't look hard. like that. They're I think really actually for the uh, for just for everybody's <laughs> like this, gonna, those can go over there. Uh, I'd also no. like to point out Michael has four waters. I have four waters. Uh, Michael, uh, no, this is yours. <laughs> that's because we hung out last night. Yes, okay. yes, we did. We did hang out, and this is how I'm dealing with hanging out with Neil. Okay. You you guys, I I don't mean to cut it, but we don't have we've had like one yeah question. I know we we haven't yeah, uh, let's talk <laughs> about some, some things. Can I ask dude. a serious question of the man wearing those sunglasses? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna answer it very seriously. Tell me all your thoughts on God. This is definitely <laughs> I'd really like to hear them. <laughs> it's definitely not you a question, just a comment. So, so I sat out okay. front and watched uh, Royal Bliss play. And Neil, your voice is like an angel. He's the best. Oh, I always <laughs> tell everybody. Yeah, I always tell everybody. I usually don't toss them. compliments around. I was like, but oh my I'm god, like, that voice! No. What? Is Thanks, what's really. going on? Dude, he's uh, amazing. His really voice amazing. Is amazing. And like I don't you know. Said, the band. noon crowd was like insane for noon. Yeah, it, it, it's like a rock concert out there. It blew my mind. I couldn't believe that that many people showed up. And as far as the voice goes, it's just I love singing. I've loved singing since I was a young kid. Um, it's it's my passion. It's my venting. It's and you my can therapy. Feel the emotion in your voice. Yes. And my I problem, a- my problem with introducing anyone I've ever dated to your music is my band immediately becomes their second favorite <laughs> band. <laughs> and it's always this thing. I'm like, this is my buddy Neil. Don't listen to his stuff. It's not that good. All right, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Well, I'll say that I, I'm really embarrassed actually to admit this, but I feel like this is how important it is to, for people who don't know you guys or haven't listened to you. The moment you said that Neil's going to be on, I'm like, I got to do my homework. Yeah. And I started listening to the music and instantly just fell in love, like like you said. And it's just, it's just, it's so passionate. Like you can hear the passion in your voice and it's just so great. And what you're singing Thank about you. is great. It's yeah, I mean, uh, a lot drinking, of soul for, I mean, for drinking. a redhead. You yeah. sing about yeah. drinking, you add a lot of soul when you're singing about drinking. A lot of soul for a redhead. <laughs> so, I love that. Like, I didn't even know that Ginger's I'm going to make a t-shirt that says that. I got thing. a lot of soul for a redhead. <laughs> <laughs> like, Man, now who knew I'm Gingers have souls? <laughs> <laughs> like, you're at least the one. The one. <laughs> we got a Ginger on the panel. Again. We never thought he had a soul. No. We just treated him like a second-class citizen. That's why he's on the end. the Irish were treated. And they're brought here. Slave no. labor. Hey. Like setting up hey. these microphones and stuff. Oh. Yeah, Michael is pretty that much. Steven just, Adler? Uh, yeah. yeah, he's That's next. cool. Yeah, that's Steven hey, I'm, I just waved to Steven Adler. <laughs> yes, uh, Steven Adler oh, is cool. uh, he's next up on the show. Oh uh, yeah. He looks like he's he looks yeah. like he's <laughs> feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> I can go now. Well, it's been great nice having to see you guys. Steven Adler's <laughs> here now. I refuse uh, to end this now, without were telling you the voice too. I was on The Voice. It was weird. It was a weird experience. But was it after you already had your band as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Because okay. we've been around for a long time. But <laughs> it was one of those things where I'd, I'd watch those shows, and our management at the time had talked us in to be like, hey, uh, you should probably try to do this and represent rock and roll. And I'm like, I would love to do that and yeah. just go and be a rock singer on that show. Because most of the time, it's all pop stars doing a bunch of pop yes, stuff. Yes, yes. <clears throat> and so uh, I decided to give it a shot. And I made it. To the, uh, it was crazy. There was forty thousand or fifty thousand people that year that auditioned, and I made it to one of eighty-six people that yeah. got to do it. So I was honored I made it that far. But yeah. I went up there and I sang my balls off for uh, <laughs> "Heard It Through the Grapevine," and I did it the rock and roll style, like CCR style. Yeah. So it was a weird experience. I don't know that I'd ever do that again. It's not my style at all. Sure. And here's what I was thinking when I watched it, because I did watch it. There's only one way. 
to have Neil Middleton not be the best singer in the room. And all you got to do is just have him sing Heard It Through the Grapevine. <laughs> because, Zach, uh, quite honestly, like, uh, it's just like, uh, maybe we should have had him do Mustang Sally. Is there any way to, like, Well, they give you the song. I they tell know, you what I to know, sing. I, I tried to, I, I, oh, I pushed you back. To sing? Yeah, they yeah. give you the song. Oh, no, he wasn't of... like, you know what I'd Probably really not supposed like to, to say that. Hey, voice, uh, don't sue me. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, whatever. He was like, no, Neil went to them. He's like, man, do you remember that California Raisins commercial? <laughs> when I was a kid, I was always like, I wonder if I could sing that in front of thousands of people. I am and not going to lie. I did. Heard it through the grapevine. I am not going to lie. Song. There was a moment, I can't remember what fast food restaurant or whatever, they would give you the stickers to the California Raisins, and I would yeah. I would put those on my Trapper Keeper. You guys remember Trapper oh, yeah. Keepers? Mm-hmm. Uh, trapper Keepers of all the California Raisins, and I, would, I tried trapper to keeper. save those I, up. I had the California Raisins. Remember the little dudes? You yeah. got yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get them yeah. at parties. Yeah. White gloves. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, they were, they were, and they were yeah. amazing. They I'm were amazing. I'm guessing within the next uh, 10 seconds or so, the Budweiser Clydesdales are going to be in frame again. <laughs> oh. oh. There they are again. Just they look awesome. majestic. I don't know. Look at those majestic beasts. Again. We like to just shoot them and talk about them whenever. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Buds, Budweiser Clydesdales. Yeah, yeah zoom in. I'll, I'm going to tell you something about these. Those horses? These beautiful Clydesdales. Those beautiful Clydesdales. I was born in St. Louis, Missouri. That's why you're a Cardinals fan. Yeah, and that is why I'm a Cardinals fan. Cardinals. Like, there's a lot of positives about you and me being a Brewer fan. I'm always like, you know, you like Neil, and we're not going to let baseball get in the way of that. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're in the same division. It's, it's all right. It's okay. We're still going to win at the end. Um, Tell us. In, in first grade, I got a field trip to the Anheuser-Busch Brewery, and that was the first time I got to see these majestic Clydesdales. All these Clydesdales, actually that one in the front, that is Phil. <laughs> and that Clydesdale is 182 years old. <laughs> a lot of people didn't know that Clydesdales live. You know what's Phil, amazing? They live to be 450 years old. Yeah, you know what's amazing? I'm watching our next guest over there in awe of the Clydesdales. Oh, the yeah, the Clydesdales are so incredible. Is that really Phil? Yeah, Phil, the first first one. Yeah. He's, is, yeah. is that horse also, yours? Is he's that 186? Phil, like, Phil like, Rupert, James, shut Regina. <laughs> Uh, Carl, Regina? John, uh, You're a Frederick, Be- Beatrix, yeah, uh, I think uh, Yolanda, and then Yolanda on the end. Yolanda and Jamiqua. <laughs> Jamiqua. Jamiqua. Yeah, they were named later. Yeah. So a lot later. of people don't know that, but I, I memorize. I, I have cards. Like people collect baseball cards. I collect so Clydesdale stupid, cards. Michael. You're so stupid. I have them all. You're so stupid, Neil. Oh, 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 no, it's, it's A. A. Ron. Balake. <laughs> uh, oh my. Shathine. Joyce. A. And the third one's Joyce. <laughs> yes. And, and then uh, Sharon is on the end. Yeah. Yes. Oh Little gosh. known fact, though, uh, since he took that tour in first grade, he's been drunk every day ever since. Yeah. That was the first <laughs> time I tasted Beachwood grade. AIDS beer yeah. from Anheuser Busch. And, uh, and I've been addicted ever since. It's been, Neil, a, it's been a beautiful thing. If you could tell, because we, uh, we don't have a ton of time, if you could tell. Uh, people listening to this podcast, and they wanted to. What are three songs that really capture Royal Bliss that you would be like? These Ooh. are the three you need to get these songs. Listen to them, and uh, you know. That's form tough, an man. I know. Good call. Uh, got me in. Well, uh, man, that's really hard. Uh, I have mine. Crazy home. Yeah, well, cra- home. crazy would definitely be one of them. Home, home would be my other one. Yes. Home. So. so I, I, so Royal Bliss is a band that we we have, we have our hard rock songs, we have our drinking songs. Like I was drunk, so I would say Crazy. I was drunk, and then we have our, our harder edge songs that are always emotional. It would be tough between like Christ Sister, our new one Pain, uh, our new one Paranoid. Mine is like Baby Just lot. Hold On would be my third Baby one. Just Hold On is another. Home, like, Baby Just Hold On. I mean, yes, yeah, so you have so. Your we, we run the incredible. gamut. Like, yeah. as far as as a band goes, like, we've confused people for years where it's like, are you guys a rock band? Are you a southern rock band? Are you a country band? Are you a hip hop band? We're Why not. Does your bass player have a Luckily, fish? we don't get hip hop. Yeah. He has a bass. So, our bass player has a bass bass. He's you a get, bass bass. A bass bass. It's a fish. And uh, it's beautiful. I have a fish but uh, that's tough. I, I mean, all our songs I love. Maybe like one of those kids. moments I'm going to interrupt for a moment where we talk about uh, the little thing. If we can put the little picture up here in the corner yeah, of the uh, bass bass. The bass we'll bass? Yeah, we will uh, we'll edit in a bass bass. Yep. See the bass bass? Yeah, so there's, look at the bass bass. That's beautiful. 
Yes. Man, well, we'll probably just edit it out, and then we'll see just the vast base, and we'll keep talking. I was talking yeah. to, I'm to explaining that, the, the uh, limited technology that we have. Because <laughs> you can't we, do a little thing? I edit out my telephone. It's a yeah. whole thing. I, he was saying, yeah. uh, Michael has a flip phone. Oftentimes <laughs> people phone. just... Uh, I, I edit on my see that? Like, that's a sweet fish oh. guitar, man. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said God, to me. You don't get the joke, do you? <laughs> like, no, man. Not at all. So our bass player, he had a... So if you guys don't get this... He had a, a bass bass made because bass and bass are spelled the same way. Yeah. So it's either the it. bass bass or the bass bass. <laughs> so whatever you want. He had a custom throw. built bass oh bass God. that looks, it's beautiful. It's amazing. Yeah, like I you could frame it on the wall <laughs> and people would be like, when would you catch that? Yeah. Not You're even like, noticing that the like strings attached Billy to the bass. damn Remember thing. that thing on oh, the yeah. wall that would talk? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Take me to the river and yeah. such. He makes that thing sing. It's a beautiful thing. I mean, the only way, oh yeah, all right. The only way, at first I thought it was a trout. When I was out with you guys on the road, I was like, is that a trout? Is Mike's that a real... A, is that a catfish? Michael's a real that? wilderness not a, type. Not a real... I'm what they call indoors. I thought you... I thought you... you know, he doesn't get jokes I fish all the time. He's like, I like, I like that guppy oh, base, man. Like, that guppy base. I, 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 I love fishing. It's... Yeah. That's it's, funny. funny. Yeah. Just being a smart ass. It's therapeutic. Yeah. It is. It is it's therapeutic. therapeutic. It's also yeah. like a good excuse just to go hang out and drink beer with your friends. Kind of like golf. Kind of like almost everything that we do, isn't it? Do you remember that one time when we were on the river? And uh, it was getting, it was kind of a, it was a slow day on the river, and there was a, uh, we had went down with a bunch of our friends. And yeah, there the boys in Wayland. The boys and in Wayland, and uh, Left to Reason, I think, Yeah, was Left to Reason and, was uh, there. Uh, and I think that we were, there was probably 30 of us, and we were in the inner tubes going down the river. All of a sudden, i not paying attention, I'm drinking, and I see Neil, he goes up, and he gets out of his tube, and he's up in the trees, and all of a sudden, he's up in the trees, way up in the trees. <laughs> And I don't think about it because you're drinking and you're floating on a river. <laughs> the next thing I'm looking up, and Neil, like, just explodes out of the tree into your tube, right? Right through the middle of my tube. Landed right <laughs> through the that. middle of his tube. I made it. Like, bullseye. It was, like, <laughs> uh, it was an epic moment. I lost was, my glasses, though. I was pretty He did lose his that. glasses. Yeah. But uh, Neil's really good at uh, just kind of lighting a fire on the situation. I always have been. Well, thanks, man. That's, I love that's, it. <laughs> But good energy, uh, good energy. It's rock and roll, baby. That's, it that's is. what it is. It is. Yeah. It's all about living. You gotta live and, and, and experience absolutely every freaking moment. I can say, can I say words on this? Yeah. Yeah, you can no. say words. Yeah. <laughs> I can say words. Every freaking moment that uh, you live, you should just experience shit like it's your first day and your last day. That's absolutely. just the way it should be done. Because life ain't rock worth living if living ain't what you do. That's right, man. Hashtag right. right. wanna be living. Wanna be, and I, I, I might be, a, I might like be a dumbass, but damn, I have fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just uh, was giving myself a plug for my new single, Wanna Be Living. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is on Iron Country. It will go into full rotation next week. Check it out until it comes out. It's the only place that you can hear Wanna Be Living. Sorry, had to bust your balls. No, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, uh, what do you want to leave them with? What's new for Royal Bliss? We only have two minutes. If you have two minutes, what do you want to say? What do you want to tell the people about Royal Bliss? Uh, I would say that thank you um, more than anything. Like uh, the people that are out there, the people that are watching this, the people that support Brot Fest, the people that support their local bands, that support music in general. We can't do it without you. Thank you for spending your hard-earned money and going to work so you can buy our T-shirts, you can buy our music, you can come to these shows, these festivals, and have an amazing time. You allow us to do what we love, um, what we're born to do. So I, I would be trapped behind a, a desk or a crazy office building telling me, like, some boss that would just be a horrible fucking thing. <laughs> so thank you for my life. Uh, thank you for Royal Bliss's life because without the fans... Rock and roll is nothing. Music is nothing. So you guys are the lifeblood that keeps us thriving and doing what we're supposed to do. So uh, that's what I would say. We're, we're Royal Bliss. And without these guys sitting right here that support all these bands, just support them. Because with, without that, we're I just want to say thank you for sharing yes. you with the world. Thank you. You know, it's Seriously. as much as you love the fans and need the fans, we need... We need musicians you. like you and Michael and Sean. Um, that's what you know. That's what drives all of us. You know, that's the greatest thing about music. Is I, I don't care if if you're uh, uh, a neurosurgeon or a guy working at a factory. There are songs that you are your go-to in bad times, good times, fun times. Things that remind you of uh, people you've lost. Things that remind you of first dates cars you had it's such a beautiful thing and i just i 
sincerely want to thank every musician for sharing oh, yeah. those moments yes. of their life that resonate with us. It's just amazing. So and, thank you. And there's thank you for sharing that, that shirt, too, by yeah. the way. <laughs> and there's all that music you're talking about in the Bee Gees, too. They, there's the Bee Gees, too. Michael Alexander, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's amazing. Thank no. you guys for having me on. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a lot of damn fun. And thank you for like yeah. genuine conversation. That's it's yeah. good stuff. And yeah. thank you so much, uh, Neil. Obviously, uh, you've been a friend a long time. It means the world to me. It means the world to me that you come and you play this event. Uh, if you want to check out Facebook Live, he uh, literally, <laughs> they were driving like 80 miles an hour here from Utah so they could get here. So Neil could come <laughs> in and sit in on our set oh, and cool. uh, just... Uh, you're a, you're a very special soul, and it's a pleasure to have you in my life. Thank you so much for being Aww. on our show. Neil. I'm going to start crying. Yes. <laughs> I love you, man. I love you, man. Uh, Neil Middleton, ladies and gentlemen, Angela DeSalvo, Ryan Fielding, Sean Shell. I am Michael Alexander. Thank you so much. This is Thank Pure you. Entertainment. Pure Entertainment! Yeah! <laughs> Every time I make a run Girl, you turn around and cry I ask myself, why, oh, why? See, you must understand I can't work a nine to five So I'll be gone till November Said I'll be gone till November, I'll be gone till November You tell my girl you I'll be gone till November I'll be gone till November, I'll be gone till November You tell my girl you I'll be gone till November January, February, March, April, May I hear you crying, but girl I can't stay I'll be gone till November, I'll be gone till November Give a kiss to my mother, yeah I know my brother thinks he really messed me up But all he did was make his little brother tough You tell my dad I know he did the best he can To turn his crazy boy into a man I tell my mother that it wasn't a waste To buy me this guitar and to have a little faith Oh, 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 oh Yo, I got the soul Where Kiss to my mother, yeah. I'll give a kiss to my mother, yeah. Every time I make a rhyme, girl, you turn around and cry. I ask myself, why, oh. Why?